I mean, look, walk down right here. Look at this. Just nuts. All right, ladies and gentlemen, night number two of the Peter Murphy Classic. Just finishing up our race car to get back after it. Here at my friend's compound, about 10 minutes from the track. Last night we stayed up till two, three o'clock. Uh, washing, maintenance, did everything because even though it's only May, it's hot down here and we don't want to be working in the heat. So we're trying to work here in the morning, finish up, be loaded here in just a little bit, and then we'll kind of just relax until it's time to race. As I said though, a full service on the 18T. Dad is uh, changing oil right now, putting a fresh eight quarts of Champion racing oil in that. And speaking of Champion, they are actually the sponsor of today's video. At Tanner Homes Racing, we only choose to use the best and most trusted products, and Champion is right there at the top of the list. Anything you could think of inside your race program to win races, look good on track, and go in circles and do what you love, uh, Champion offers. So you saw we just put eight fresh quarts in our engine. They also offer brake fluid, um, gear oil, spray wax to shine your car and they've been an industry leader since 1956 so they've been doing big things for a long time and we are happy to have them here supporting the channel so we're gonna finish our work here head to uh, Hanford and we will be getting night number two of the Peter Murphy Classic underway Well, we made it to the track, hoping to uh, finish off our Peter Murphy Classic weekend on a better note. Yesterday, we did get the hard charger award, but that means that we, we started deep and didn't do our job early. So tonight, the goal is to have much better qualifying speed and kind of just unload with a better piece, which I think we will. Uh, try to lay down a good lap, and then from there, move into a heat race and get through that and try to start, you know, in the first couple of rows in the A. And like yesterday, I think we are once again going to see a super slick surface. By the time our A main event rolled around, like you had some grip down low, and then you had a pretty tall curb that just got bigger and bigger as we ran more laps and here on exit like it got technical you had to be on it to have drive and momentum but if you got into it too much you definitely could toss the nose and upset your car and with warm conditions again and some wind this racetrack well it's not going to hold moisture for long anyway we're going to jump into our night try to finish off our weekend down here in the central valley like i said on a better note and um you know get some speed in the 18t and get it closer to the front so let's just jump in we're going to have engine heat right into hot laps and qualifying Racetrack tonight is way slick and the 410s are running after the 360s so that is also kind of playing a factor. It was warm today, the wind I talked about. Uh, tonight we qualified a little bit better but still not where I want to be. We were uh, 14th quick out of 26 410s so right there in the middle of the pack. Racetrack though like I talked about doesn't have a lot of grip and, and you know my car felt okay. Um, it was really just right around about as high up as you could be. Three and four has more of a curb. One and two it kind of falls off um, and I felt good in three and four if I got into the curb and if I could really stay steady against it but one and two where there really wasn't anything to lean on just didn't feel like I had any forward forward bite and uh, carry speed down the back stretch so we're going to kind of work on that now we should be rolling off fifth in our heat race just going to work on tightening up the car and um, trying to get it you know I talked yesterday about having a problem feeling left and I feel like we're a little late left right now more than we can be so going to try to pick up some more drive and um, see if we can go forward in this heat.
Well, heat race is now complete. Uh, started fifth and ended up finishing fourth. Got one freebie when Kobe Copeland, uh, I think, had an engine maybe let go and pulled into the infield. Car felt better, you know, than qualifying. Definitely the best I think our car was all night. We ended up actually throwing, never like to throw the kitchen sink at the car unless it's just junk. But we made some aggressive adjustments just to try and find some drive, get me a little bit more feel, uh, feel like with the car being in the track and just, you know, carrying speed forward. And overall, just going tighter with our car. So ended up kind of running through the middle of both corners. There's a little bit of grip there in one and two. Three and four, I tried the top, you know, but the curb has just gotten so big. You you have to basically get on it and stay on it and if you mess up it's easy to toss the nose or just upset the whole car and then at the very end of the heat I started kind of running through the middle of three and four where there was just slight grip and it's just enough to kind of keep your wheels spinning forward and get, get you down the front stretch. So we're making adjustments now for our upcoming A main event. I think with that finish we should maybe start around 12th, 14th. Uh, we're going to go check out the racetrack though. They are working it so even though it's slick and we just did some stuff to make our car better we might have to make changes back the other way for more hooked up or whatever amount of moisture they're trying to bring back. Peter Murphy out here uh, doing some track prep. You can kind of see the cushion that this place was developing throughout the heats. I mean, look, walk down right here. Look at this. Just nuts. Really interested to see what kind of track we're gonna get tonight. It's slick now, but the sun's down, it's cooling off. I really think that bringing some of this grip back, it might hold on a little bit longer than we think, but there's still a lot of laps to go. So we'll just keep you guys updated and uh, see what we have for tonight's $11,000 to win feature.
the bottom I think was the best all night. I mean, that's where Selzy was running the whole night. Except when he had lap traffic. I just think the track went away too much. I didn't well, I think we should have went up another hole because the other thing of it is, is you're all the way extended. So the results tonight show we finished 13th. At one point we got, I think, as up high as 9th. Kind of got rolling on one of the early double file restarts, but overall to just kind of like throw a blanket over the whole A main event, just so disappointed with um, how it went. I, I just, I don't know. You guys have probably heard me kind of complain about my race car all weekend long, and I just don't think we've had it exactly where we needed to be. I think the best we were tonight was in the heat race. And then I made some changes, tried to predict what we thought the track was gonna do with what they did to the track. And I think I just, uh, I failed myself with our setup. I just think we were way too free. And I kind of knew that from an early point on in the A-Main event, I already found myself grabbing way too much wing early to try to get some drive, trying to compete with these 410 guys. It's tough, especially if you're off. If you're off, it's, um, like I said, it's defeating because it just you just don't have a chance out there when, when other guys are on point. Well, another California trip is complete. And one thing I was gonna touch on, and I'll probably talk about it more in the next video, but um, throughout the weekend, and even probably at Cottage Grove, you probably heard me refer to the setup changes and stuff as you know what I was deciding, what I was trying to do. And that's because actually the last four races, technically I've not had a crew chief. So right now I, you're looking at the crew chief and um, you know, as a team, we've kind of been doing things, but I've been making calls on what, you know, what direction we're kind of heading and setting up the car and making changes. And let me tell you, it, it's no joke. It's very, very difficult. You know, luckily I have a great notebook from coming to these tracks and stuff, but that still doesn't mean um, a crazy, a crazy amount. So as far as our 410 program, I think that's where we're kind of lacking and where we need work. Um, we have decent speed here and there, but we gotta just put together the whole thing like we have with our 360, where I feel like we're just so fast and we got such a healthy balance for the 18T. Anyway, um, you live and you learn, and that's just part of this difficult journey that we're on, but we're doing it together as a family, and we're we're putting our best foot forward and trying to be the best that we can be. So, big thanks to Shane DeWald Trucking, Carson, uh, Next Gen Def, Lafarge, ABC Powder Coating, Pit Stop USA, Earth Environmental, Canopy Company, Country, Fast 4 Media, we also have RTR Diesel Performance, uh, Land and Transport, D-Ray Designs, Full Send Racing, and Vienendahl Trucking. And I guess as we get ready to get on the road, like I said a minute ago, our 360 stuff, I feel so good about. I feel like we got great speed. Um, I feel so confident in it. It's just our 410 program. We need some work. I need to sit in the shop and just kind of do, do some homework on maybe where we're going wrong. I mean, I, actually, I think I have an idea on where we're going wrong. In the A-Main event tonight, we just, like I said, we didn't have drive. We were too free. Probably Probably had too much stagger just little things like that but um, yeah anyway we're gonna dial it in gonna do some homework and uh, try to get this thing farther up front so see you guys on the next one Deuces.